I don't mind what size you want to be. Be whatever size. You, I mean, I've got no judgment about whatever size you want to be. That's not the point here. The point is to be aware of the more weight that you carry, particularly around this area, the higher risk of dying young of preventable disease. So that's the point to understand, right? So when you look at that, you go, current predictions have almost 60% of today's children obese by age 35. And one in three born after the year 2000 would be type 2 diabetic. One in three in New Zealand. One in three. Now what happens when a third of the population can't work in 50 years' time? What happens to the tax income? Who pays for the hospitals if a third of the population can't work? And the other third are elderly. Because we know that by 2050, half the population of the world will be over 65. So you've got half the people too old to work, half the people who are young, not able to work. You've got this tiny slither of people in the middle who can work. How does their tax pay for everyone in health care? The, the math just doesn't add up. I mean, economists are talking about this stuff more than I am. But I've been talking about it for a long time because it's so predictable. What's coming? In 1992, 3% of all new diabetics in the world were kids. Now it's half. Half of all type 2 diabetics now are kids. Diabetes in 2004 was 90 million, 2010, 366, 2014, 422. Now it's at 500 million. Now, I can tell you it's way more than that because people get pre-diabetes before they get type 2 diabetes. So I have this at already a billion people. And I know that sounds weird, but believe me, that's what's going on in the world. I have it about a billion people. 